Hi there everybody. Some of our viewers requested that I do the Bimini Twist Knot for you. Well the Bimini Twist Knot is a very simple knot to make and I will show you how I do my knot. The purpose of a Bimini Twist in our fishing is when we tie a nice thick monofilament leader to another monofilament line. So the Bimini Twist has got two purposes. The one purpose is that it's actually a nice taper down from your thin line, it thickens a bit and then you join it to your thicker leader. And the next purpose of that knot is the fact that it's actually spring loaded when it's done. So it's like a shock leader. When you hook a big fish, that you don't put a lot of strain on your knot, it's got a bit of give and that shock action, so you're protecting your leader and your knots. Okay, so let me show you guys how I do the Bimini twist. Firstly, you take your nylon and you want to give it a nice big loop around your hand like this. It's a nice long loop and I grab the one end and the other end, I've got my hand inside of it. Then you're going to do 21 loops with your hand. So you're going to twist your hand 21 times. Alright, so we've twisted it 21 times. So you're left with that piece of twisted line and the loop in your hand. The way I do it, obviously working with nylon, you've got to just lubricate it a little bit so you don't burn the nylon off when you do the knot. So I'm going to lubricate the area I want to twist up, and then I'm going to take this loop, put it over my knee, and continue with the knot. Lubricated that, take the loop, I put it over my knee, and I keep pressure on my left hand, so I'm pulling the knot away from me. So I take my two tag ends, and I open it up, and I'm going to let this knot run down. Until it's nice and tight, and then take the tag end and run it back up the knot. Releasing it slowly, run it back up the knot, and I grab the end as soon as it's complete. So you've curled it down and then twisted the tag end back up on it. At the end of a knot, I pinch it. I'm going to take the tag end and just make one little loop knot or granny knot over the one end. Pull it up towards the knot there, with ends, and do exactly the same thing on the other side. So now you can take it off your knee and take the pressure off. So this is the first part of the knot done. We've got that springy effect where we curled it back up onto the, onto the twist. And now it's just a question of finishing off our knot. So what I do next is, I'll take my three tag ends at the end and I'm actually going to twist it up a bit so there's no loops and bubbles in it. So I want to make it a nice solid unit. So from the knot, I'll just twist it in my hand like this. And twist those three tag ends together as long as I want. And right at the end, I'll just put a knot in that just to keep it all together. Right, and that's basically our knot done. So you can grab your scissors. Cut off the tag ends. And there's my Bimini twist done. That's how I do it. And uh, as you can see, the spring action of the knot, when you pull it, it's got that nice spring action. It's got your, your nice sort of tapered leader. There's your original nylon to the knot and that becomes three strings of nylon there. So you would attach your thick one mil or 1.1 millimeter leader to this by just two simple figure of eight knots. And it's a nice little taper down from your thick leader to the thicker sort of uh, twisted nylon onto the knot and then back to your thinner nylon. Very even knot, it casts through your guides very easily. It's very strong and then it's got that added sort of benefit of that spring action and uh, you can see it sort of compensates for the shock on your leader and on your knots when you hook a big fish or you strike a fish and just takes the pressure off your knots. Alright guys, so that was a one version of the Bermany twist. 
Um, there's another version, basically just the end of the knot changes a bit, where we actually leave a loop at the end of a knot. And that purpose of a loop is for tying on wind-on leaders or doing the cat's paw knot, Burmley to Burmley and stuff like that. So I'm gonna show you quickly how I do that one. Very similar, just the end bit of a knot changes a little bit. So what we're gonna do is, we make our Burmley exactly the same as the first one, grab our big loop, 21 times, Round your hand, lubricate your line over your knee and you make that little spring effect. I put it over my knee, pull it back from myself, put a bit of pressure on the nylon, grab the tag ends and while you're pulling it, tighten up in that and let it run back on itself. Grab the end, exactly the same, a little half hitch over the one end of the loop, half hitch over the other end of the loop. Okay, so the way I finish it off, I take this big loop, put it over my knee, take the one tag end, and just do a few half hitches over the two lines. Pull them nice and tight. I do about five, normally enough. So there I've got my five half features over the two lines. Keeps all knot together, nothing falls apart. And I'm gonna take my scissors and cut the tag end off. I always leave like two millimeters to stick out a bit, just for insurance. If you feel insecure with your knot and you feel this might undo while you're fishing, Grab something like KnotSense, one of those glues that hold your knots together. Just put a little drop on there and that'll ensure that those half inches don't come loose while you're fishing. Well, there we go. We've got our Burmany twist knot here with a nice big loop. So this loop we'll use to put stuff like wind-on leaders on or the cat sport joining a Burmany to a Burmany and knots like it. So there it is, very similar to the other one I showed you, just with a loop end.